So, what's your name? Roger. Roger. Your handlebars will let you bike. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah. Good morning internet, it is 7.30 in the morning and uh, welcome back to the channel. Welcome here in the tiny town of Elk River in Idaho. I am having my breakfast right now, more is coming. But I already have an enormous bowl of fruit and a coffee. I already fueled up as well, if you noticed in the last video I always also ran out of gas. But I am all filled up and ready to go. Today is going to be another monster of a day because I have to end up in Sandpoint today. And the reason is that I have a reservation there because, well, I'll tell you later why that is. But anyway, I have to get there. And because I didn't make it to Wallace in the last video, it's going to be a very long ride. So actually, you know what? Let me get the map out and show you what is going on. I hope you can see this. So in the last video, I started in Missoula. And then, where did I go? I, w I was riding all over here. Let me try first find where I am right now. Is it even on the map? Oh yeah. Yeah, so I, I took the 12. And I, I tried to get into the forest. That was the first time I got snow. Turned back, continued on the 12 to Koskia, to the 11. And then all of this was all national forest. I crossed that bridge. And then I got lost over here and I rode a massive circle and finally I went to Elk River. So that's where I am right now. But today I'll have to end up here in Sandpoint. So I'm still gonna go with my previous plan to get to Wallace. So the plan is to ride through here so that I think it's probably also partly dirt to Wallace. And then I continue here towards Sandpoint right here at the lake. Look at that. Wow, this looks absolutely amazing. This is a quiche, I think. Oh, wow. Nice. Okay, let's go. Which way am I going? This way. Elk River, very cute town. So this is the next town. Oh, look at that. <laughs> this is the library. That is so cute. It almost looks like a church. A cute town. This town is called Beauville. It's the first town after Elk River. The saloon. Elk saloon. <laughs> I'm doing it again. I end up on these really random forest tracks whereas I thought there was kind of a main road to Avery which there probably is but it's impossible to know from the map which one it is <laughs> and then I end up on these little these little roads I, mean, I guess this is I mean this is more fun anyway but yeah, it makes me laugh. I don't think a lot of people pass here. I don't see any tracks whatsoever. Yeah! <laughs> well, I'm having way too much fun here. Yeah, I'm having very clear flashbacks to the last video where I was also riding in circles on all these logging roads. <laughs> it's, just it's just so random where I'm riding. 
Ah, well, I'll get there eventually. People ask me what I'm doing, I'm gonna say I am very busy trying to find my way through Idaho. <laughs> it's a challenge on its own. Oh. Ah, look, see, see, see. See, that there, there had to be some sort of main road going through here. This must be it. <laughs> <laughs> found it, found it, found it. Okay, no worries. Back on like the main gravel. Alright, it is 38 k's left to Wallace. And for that I'm gonna follow this road, which goes past Slate Creek. So I was thinking if it's a creek, it can't be that high, right? <laughs> That's my reasoning. So let's see if the road is uh, completely open. Uh, this is better. There is no logging going on here. Maybe this is a national forest again. It's quite possible. Wow, this is amazing! What a fight! Absolutely magical. Gorgeous. Small waterfalls. There's a lot of water coming from that mountain. Maybe it's melting snow as well, I have no idea. This is some of the best riding I've done in the States, I think. I just love it. It looks like there hasn't been anyone on this trail for a while, too. Look at these waterfalls. Yeah, it's just amazing. what I find about, you know, you get the most amazing national parks with all these attractions, but sometimes, for me, this is just <laughs> way more, I don't know, adventurous, interesting, just because it's just, it's just right there, it doesn't get any attention. For some reason, I don't know why. Oh, the forest gets so dark, hey. <laughs>
Oh, there's a deer. A deer with a baby. Look, 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 look. There's the little baby. Oh, you're okay. <laughs> Just pass here. Now, going a bit of an obstacle course. But there's a trail here, so somebody has come through here too. This is bizarre, now you get snow here, which is at 1700 meters. So that's much lower than uh, where I was riding in the last video. Wow, this is carnage! has happened here. At least somebody has been cutting these trees. You definitely can't pass here with a car. Oh, if this ain't adventure riding, <laughs> then I don't know what is. It's kind of cool. Do I get points every time I successfully manage to get past trees? like a massive storm came through here or something. <laughs> Oof, oof, oof. Now that is a now that's a problem. That's I have to get all my luggage off, otherwise it's not gonna work. Somebody else has gone through here too. So I have to go here through here. And passed, but <laughs> it's a big drop. I'm gonna take my luggage off so I don't have saddlebags, so I'm a bit uh, smaller. Still tricky, yeah, there's no way I can pass through here. Oof. This is a little bit risky. If the bike slips here, then uh, she's gone. So, what's your name? Roger. Roger. Nora Lee. Nora Lee. Oh, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try this. Or, what do you think? Like in neutral or? Uh, yeah, you probably. You're coming out pretty much level. Maybe I'll just try it in neutral. Oof, this is tight. Oh. 
Yeah. Yeah, now I have the handlebar problem. Maybe I stand on the other side or Wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks so much, Roger. All right, now your bike. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you brought a chainsaw with you. Yeah, I'm, I cut a lot of that out to you come by. Oh, it was you, because I was like, somebody has been cutting these logs. Oh, thanks. <laughs> but only today. Hmm? You did that today. Yeah. Yeah, I just come up here this morning. I can't believe my luck. Yeah, yeah, you'd have been in. Any other day, I would have turned, had to turn back. Yeah, go all the way back. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. You gotta come over Moon Pass, they just open back. All right, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I saw that too. But I thought this was shorter. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it takes, shorter, it takes longer. Time. Yeah. But it's really awesome to ride. Oh, it's neat way to go, yeah. Oh, you're gonna sit on it? Okay. Oh, that's very brave. Oh. Oh. Nice, like a boss. <laughs> wow, I'm impressed. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get my luggage now. Pickaxe and a shovel, I can make a pretty good road around. Yeah, but who who maintains these roads then normally? Or well, this oh, is. <laughs> This one's a uh, forest service, so they're oh. kind of lax on theirs. Right. And, uh, the Moon Pass, that's county. Ah, okay. So the Moon Pass is also a dirt? Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, my ride through the States has been... I, know, I just really underestimated the seasons. Because ah. I was in Colorado and I was <laughs> riding these like 12,000 meter passes. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes I could pass, but most of the times, all the time I had to turn around. Uh -huh. And in Wyoming, the same. And yeah, in Montana, no, Montana was okay. I didn't see snow in Montana where I was riding. And now here again, I just thought like it's summer, but yeah, and this is uh, comes kind really of an late. exceptional year. It isn't that we had tremendously more snow, than we had oh, okay. quite a bit, but it's been really late getting late. out. It's been a cold, wet spring. Right. Okay, so maybe it's not completely my fault, <laughs> but I thought it was going to be summer. <laughs> um, well, last year we were getting close to 100 degree weather by now. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. A couple of years ago, I was doing this same thing down a couple of corners below, and I rolled a big log off the, the bank, and I turned around, took one step, the next thing I remember was coming off, off the road, like, what the heck? My hat, my glasses were laying on the road. No way. I put it together later with that. When I rolled that down, it took a little tree about that big around off at the stump, it come like this, it was still laying against the road about this high. Oh. It broke right over the back of my head. Wow. <laughs> That's dangerous. <Yeah. laughs> Chunk of log is still leaning up against the bank down here. I left it there as a trophy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I really appreciate your, you your efforts. Otherwise, I would have had to turn around again. I feel like if there's going to be a zombie apocalypse, it's going to be here.